All right. So ESPN just released an article on the player selection for the Super Eagles upcoming doubleheader against Guinea-Bissau. The story is written by Nigerian journalist Colin Udo, and it makes a big claim of NFF involvement in the selection process. Before we get more into details, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. So yeah, Super Eagles head coach Jose Pacero recently put out his list for the upcoming AFCON qualifiers against Guinea-Bissau, two matches which will be played at the ending of this month. And according to this report, the Super Eagles head coach was limited on the amount of players he could select from outside Nigeria, meaning he could only select 20 players who are based outside Nigeria and the rest of the players had to come from Nigeria. The claimed reason is that the NFF is trying to save money and they are also trying to showcase the local players a little bit more. So according to the article, this information was gotten from a senior member of the NFF board and this was what he said about the situation. We cannot afford to invite so many players from Europe anymore because we need to be very judicious in our use of the limited funds we have. Pacero can call up as many players as he wants but only 20 can come from abroad. If he needs any more, he should get them from the local league. The president wants to make sure that the local league players are recognized in the Super Eagles, and this will be one way to help strengthen the league and make it more attractive. Now in this situation, I kind of see it like two different ways. First of all, you are limiting the coach, setting up an excuse for the future. He can always point back to the fact that you limited the amount of players you can select from abroad. So that's right there. But also, you have to think about the fact that the NFF does need to save money. You're tired of hearing they owe coaches money. So if doing this can get them a little bit more financially stable, then I'm all for it. Then there's also the fact that a lot of times players coming from abroad and not even having one minute of playing time back to back to back two three matches coming and they don't even play so this can kind of take that situation away and make sure that if the coach is selecting a player from let's say Italy or England he knows that this is a player that he wants to use not just bringing a player to sit on the bench so he will be more responsible with the selections I'm thinking with this kind of situation and even with that i still don't like how this is being put out in the media you should really talk to the coach one-on-one -on -one, tell him what the situation is and say look we don't need you to be selecting that many players but it's still your choice if you need to select these players you can select them you should let them know the situation the team is under the country is under we don't have that much money let's try to work together that's how things are really done you don't just come out giving out crazy orders like that does ivory coast tell their coaches that senegal egypt all these top countries they don't tell their coaches that even though they're not the richest countries in the world so i feel like you need to communicate a little better if you're the nff now as far as the part about being on the super eagles helping the local league i kind of agree with that whenever you have a player that's a national team player playing in your league that's always going to boost the profile of whatever league it is that's just being honest right there but at the same time when everybody knows you're only on the national team because the nff basically forced the coach to select you it doesn't carry the same amount of weight i feel like it takes a little bit of the icing out the cake I mean, to tell the truth at this very moment, I don't feel the NFL should be telling anybody what they need to do to help the league. You need to fix the league yourself right now because you stopping the league because of World Cups, elections, things like that. The league doesn't have a normal start date, doesn't have a normal ending date. We get to a point you say the cup is not going to be played. We get to a point you say, oh, we're not going to play the full league this season. We're going to play a bridge league. I mean, it's just things like that. You need to get yourself in order before telling people, oh, you need to select our players to make our league look good. I just feel like that's ridiculous right there from the NPFL. I mean the NFF. I mean all what you put us through for you to even say that for anybody from the glass out the NFF to even say that is really annoying because that's not why the league isn't bubbling right now. The league is not even on right now. Anything that happens 
if the country is a little bit too cold the nff is gonna stop the npfl i don't understand it and you're actually coming out to tell us what somebody else should do to help the league you need to make sure the league is ran like a normal league first but let me know what you guys think about this situation. Allegedly, Jose Pacero has been limited to selecting only 20 players based outside Nigeria. Let me know what you guys think about that. Put it in the comment section. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.